I've already made a video about this computer case, this budget computer case, but I didn't go through some of the features of why you should buy it or why you would want to buy it. And also, I've already been asked questions about what's the other connection for on the fans. It's for another slave fan, and I'm going to be installing that today into the back because it has three in the front, none in the back. So I like to have a flow going through. So three in, one out. That's what I'm going to be doing. So we, we will be installing this. This is quite cheap as well, and I will stick links in the video description for the actual computer case and for the fan, in case you want the slave fan. There's two fans, there's a slave one and a master. Make sure if you're adding a fan, you get the slave one because it'll have the wrong connections on it otherwise. So one of the reasons you might like this case, not just for the fact that it's quite cheap, at the time of making this video, it's just under 40 pound. And also the model number, in case you don't know what the model number is, this is the Hellcrack HCS195 version two. I know, it's a bit of a mouthful, but there you go. One of the reasons you might like this case rather than some of the others, is it comes with a built-in controller, it's actually built-in, where you can change the patterns of the fans or the colors of the fans by this button up here, the LED button, just by pressing that. So the first things is, you don't need to buy a separate controller. You don't need to pay more money for a controller because it's already built in and it's only £40 or just under. Right? And you don't need any third party software. It is just by pressing that button, it will change it to whatever pattern you want it to change to. So, with that, let's get the back off because I need, well, actually, I need the back and the front off. So, with that, let's get the front off first, then we do the back. So we have some screws, obviously, well, I hope it's obvious, and we have the fan. There you go, that is it. Now, hopefully it's got arrows on it, and it does. So you know which way they flow. So the wind or the air being pushed through will flow that way, and it will rotate that way. Okay, like an uh, indication there. Screws, I'll get them out of the way for now. Let's get one done. So, that plugged into, well actually, is that plugged into that. Yeah, like so. Because someone asked me, you know, what is that connection for? And that is what it's for, if you want to add more fans. So then you can add another fan and continue. I'm not sure how many you can add, but I would have thought probably about nine at a guess, but I will try and find out how many or, or what is the maximum you can add on fans. I'm guessing about nine. So there'll be three in the front, that end, and one at the back for now. That's all I need. I just like a bit of flow, you know, rather than it just pushing in and just evaporating by itself. So that will sort that out. So now I need to unplug that because I need to put that fan in the other side first. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Right, move that out of the way, switch over. Actually, I need to switch, well, I don't know. Probably better to do it like that. Right, the fan's there, so there's a hole there. So I'm gonna put it so the that cable goes through that hole there, down there.
Right, let's see if I can actually show you what I've just done. So I'm going to turn it on. I'm not going to plug it into a monitor because there's no point. Because we just want to see if the fan's working, don't we? So that is that baby plugged in. And yeah, it is working. See that? So now we have airflow going all the way through. Hopefully it'll keep it a bit cooler as well. Let's have a look at the front. Like I said, one of the features I do like about this case, which I didn't really go into detail, is the fact that you can actually just change the colours. Just by pressing a button rather than installing software or hardware, like a controller. It's all built in. And it's ridiculously cheap. I like that, that's quite nice. Scrolling through the colours. HCS. Yeah, it looks good. Actually, I might get another fan and stick it on now. So you'll have them, plus that one, plus that one. Let me know in the comments if you think that's a good idea. Or not. So with that, if you're looking for a budget PC case that has built-in LED controller, with three fans, this could be the one for you, baby.